Yasmin, yeah, you wrote a piece yesterday. I mean, talk about killing the mood. This is like, we're all doomed, this marriage is never going to last. You just it's a pick complete fights, fiasco. don't you? you just, I, 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 I didn't write I, did, I started <laughs> by saying, It started by saying I wished them all the joy, didn't yeah. I? But then I he did. went on to say, And then I said, get away, Megan, don't do it. You right. said, this is not a dreamy fairy tale. It's not. Most crowns are made of thorns as well as diamonds. Wow. She cannot Good possibly likely. understand what she's getting into. The Windsors are a cold and dysfunctional Whoa. family. I, I fear I do believe that. <laughs> really? I do believe that. I do believe that. I mean, look at the examples. Not just Diana, but even going back to Princess Margaret. Mm. I remember Princess Margaret when she had to sign her love away. It mm. was a rainy day. I remember it very well. And she never really recovered, did she? Because she couldn't marry anybody. That's divorce. true, she didn't. Yeah? But life has changed. The royals oh. have changed. But I the love rules... the boys. The boys are, it seem very normal <laughs> to me. And, but why do they need a butler? But that's another question. <laughs> I really think, especially if it seems she's not even going to carry on with her career, Princess Grace is not even to do necessarily with our royal family. Mm. It will be a nightmare. Because the official rules and regulations... I mean, even Kate, you know, I'm not mm. a royalist. But I do sort of look at these, uh, at Kate. She had personality once. They've, they've taken it away somewhere. What do you want her to do? do? Get on the roof and start dancing? I and... think Diana had it, and that's why Diana was so unwelcome. Well, Diana was very, very popular, of course. And, and she, she was also, bold. And I she would was argue Diana's, Diana and her death in particular, I think, transformed this monarchy. Well, have you humor. read any of what? Of the books in which Diana described her I've life? I've read a million things. But I've, I've do you not even believe what she said? <laughs> it was a huge tragedy, what happened to that child. Actually, actually the I thought the tragedy for Diana was way before she ever met the royals. Exactly. The tragedy for Diana was her upbringing. She was a very huh? damaged individual Sorry, in many ways. did you read what she said happened to her during the marriage... No, even... you're missing my point. Yeah. You're missing my point, which is this. Diana was a fragile, difficult, which complicated person before she ever came into the royal orbit, right? So would she not from, have from needed her own, tender From her own hair? family upbringing. It's very unfair, I, I agree. We've, we've seen it happen in the past with, with royals where the, the, there is a media attention and it is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but they do, when they go into the, the firm, if we call it that, when they go into it, they, they act and behave a certain way because it's, it's royal etiquette, it's protocol. They have to do yeah, things actually, a certain way. by the way, this 24-7 thing, it's a load of baloney. She's been going out with Harry for a year. We've barely only seen them in that time, and they've been, been going. Changes. They've been going to stay at hotels, at Soho farmhouse. I know they spent a lot of time there. They've been to Africa a bit. They've been all over the place without anyone seeing them. For me, it's the issue. Is I remember all the words Diana said about what her life was like, even when she was a bulimic. But a very different climate. No, then. no, no. I don't think so. The royal family, the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, even Fergie, whatever you think of her, right? Not Fergie. I, well, why didn't that marriage last? They're clearly very fond of each other. If I'm wrong, I'll be so happy. I if think this the problem works, is, and I, she's able the reason to I'm be... cynical about your view is I know that you're basically a Republican, so you don't agree with them at all. But I've always cared, I really cared about Diana, although I was a Republican, yeah. because I really did. But I never felt that Diana was the only uh, person to blame in all that happened she around that not marriage. To, she Charles was not... is a decent guy. Camilla, me, Camilla, by the way, me, Camilla is one of the me, nicest. He never people. dropped his mistress and marries this woman. Well, he, sorry, you talk and about, then says you talk he says about to people, his wife. Okay, he says you talk to his about wife, people. I'm not going to be the only king who doesn't have a mistress. He was told when to, they're getting married. Let me explain married, to you. I'm sorry. Right, he also was a victim. He was told he had to marry a 19-year-old virgin. Right, that's true. He loved somebody else. Right? So why, why did he marry the you virgin? Talked, you talked eloquently about Princess Margaret being thwarted from her true love, and yet when Charles ultimately pursued his true it. love, you don't like that either. Why, the truth why? is, Yasmin, you don't like any of no, them being happy. Yasmin's no. point is these are the rules of the firm. <laughs> these and are the rules of the firm. They're not anymore. You, you can't Who's love They're not anymore. The Charles family. was allowed to, in the end, marry his true love. Look, right? they took People a may not like it. I'm astonished. I'm astonished you don't think it's at all important that a 19-year-old girl yep. was used in this way. I do. You should say so. I do. Because she do. was, as you said, sympathy, damaged. I have a lot of sympathy for Diana, uh, but I also think that she was quite damaged from her own upbringing, nothing to do so with the So they shouldn't have done this to her. So the point Charles about... was not right. a child. But, but he could William have said and no. Harry, William and Harry are very different to the old I'm style sure walls. And luckily, the they firm, wear their hearts on a sleeve. They're going, they're going they talk the very firm. publicly they're about their emotions. The and I, like I think he's found a very good bride here, and I think your cynicism should be condemned to the dustbin well, of old royal history. And I'm telling you, I hope I'm wrong, 
but I don't think I am. I Grant? Think, I think Princess Diana would, if she was around today, she'd be very proud of them both, uh, of what they've done, what they've achieved. The public, the public would see Diana in a very different way if they knew half the game she used to get up to. So let's not just paint her as the only mm. person. She was very, was very young. She yeah. was a child. She, yeah. It was like a bolly bad Bollywood tragedy. Yeah. This. And luckily, Megan... A bad Bollywood tragedy. You know, yeah, six, six years old, old. And arranged marriage, up. bad in-laws, faithless husband, bad... Bollywood tragedy. Yeah, but she wasn't an angel, Diana. She was when a very. She got married, I loved her, but she, she was no was angel. She was an innocent young woman, mm. yeah. and damaged, and yeah. you yeah. can't. Grant, and I think that Sorry. was partly the problem. Okay, Grant was about to speak. Sorry. No, I, I was just going to say, for me, it is, it is very much with with Megan. She is thirty six years old. She knows what she's been into. married before. She obviously been married before. I mean, that shows you how modern the family's become. That obviously yeah. they can marry um, somebody that's divorced. That's true. And and I mean, the thing with about the two of them, as you mentioned, they've had time together, private time together. They obviously love each other, and and that's what matters. I think yeah, at the end of the day, as long as they're in love, um, let's all get behind it. Let's support it. I agree. And um, looking forward to next May. Get away, Megan. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. I wow. think she'll be all right. I think Megan, well. Megan strikes me as the sort of woman who's going to be don't you know, you just don't fine. listen to Yasmin. <laughs> but I think you know. I think what you've got to say, you know, it's, it's very important, and obviously, you know, it makes you still very passionate. Uh, yeah, I think I, I went and emotional. Actually. I went to Kensington Palace as a Republican three times. Why? When Diana died, because I thought she was such an extraordinary woman. Yeah. She was, yeah. And I hated what happened to her. Yes. Well, I love Diana, but I just don't like... The, the sainthood stuff with Diana was so misplaced. She wasn't a saint, and Charles was never the villain that he was portrayed I'm to sorry, be. when and he I decided... Felt, I really feel that quite strongly. He should have either left his mistress or not married her. OK, Prince Harry is not his father. Meghan Markle is not Diana. No. Mm. Uh, let's wish them the very best, Grant. Yasmin, thanks well, very much Well, three of us, indeed. four of us, Thank will you. wish them the no, very I, best. I, 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 I wish be... them joy.